Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Here I've got some smoked ham and some smoked turkey I picked up from my local deli. And to make this sandwich I can choose from some artisan white which makes great grilled cheese. I've got a standard white bread here which is practical. And I've also got a sourdough which makes great French toast so I'm going to go with this. We need some cheddar cheese and some Swiss cheese. And I prefer it grated when it's going to be cooked into my sandwich. It sticks more like glue. Now as you can see here, the slices are pretty large. Trust me, I've got big hands. We're going to go a triple, so we're going to need to layer two sides of a sandwich. And I'm going to lay them all down flat right next to each other, so it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. You want to mayonnaise every slice, top and bottom and both sides of the middle piece. If you've got a problem with mayo, you need to get over it now because it's just eggs and oil and every good grilled cheese has it. Add mustard to the top and bottom piece. Now cheddar cheese on the bottom. Swiss cheese on the top or vice versa, it doesn't matter. Now I'm going to lay down four thinly sliced pieces of ham. You want to add two if they're sliced thick. Now just fold over the middle slice, give a firm press. Add the mayo to this second side. And on a side note, I find that the mayo gives this sandwich a nice egg flavor when it's cooked, which is great for a brunch sandwich. Now lay down your turkey slices. Again, this is thinly sliced. I add four pieces. Add two pieces if your slices are thick. See? Butimus. Now just slam dunk the top piece. And we really need this sandwich to stick together well, so firmly press it down. Make sure it's solid all the way through. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut this in half because this sandwich is huge. In fact, I usually share it with my wife. And although this sandwich looks good and ready to eat by anyone's standard, we're not finished yet. We need to add some milk and some egg to a large bowl, pinch of salt, nutmeg, cinnamon, and a pinch of cayenne. And whisk all that together. Now I'm going to add some self-rising flour. Again, just whisk that in. You're looking for a pancake consistency. Only you don't want it airy and lumpy. I also like to add a little orange zest. Quickly stir that in as well. And don't be afraid to go ahead and give this a quick taste. If you can taste all those ingredients, you're good to go. As you can see, it's nice and speckly, so we're ready. On the stove, I've got some hot canola oil, about an inch of it there, 350 degrees. Using some tongs, I'm going to go ahead and dunk one half of that sandwich straight in the batter, lift, flip it over, and get the sides. Drip off the excess and carefully head to the oil and set it down. Now if your oil's hot the way it should be, it should only take about 30 seconds to a minute tops before you're ready to flip. I like to use a metal spatula and a fork on top, so you want to prevent splash by settling it down nice and easy. And you can spoon or fork out the little crispies. And just as soon as you see that color match the top, you know you're done. Go ahead and plate that on some paper towels. And then repeat this process with the second half of that sandwich. Again, you can see that color changing on the bottom. So we're ready to flip. Just be real gentle.
just be patient. Only take another 30 seconds or so. And we can go ahead and pull this one out too. See there? Perfectly cooked. Nice golden brown. And now we don't just have one Monte Cristo sandwich, we have two. Now let's go ahead and cut this diagonally. Let's check out the inside. Now we're ready to plate. Dust it with some powdered sugar. And serve with raspberry jam. And there you have it. Deep fried Monte Cristo right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.